the thing that really brought me out of it was um, I went on a trip to Aspen, Colorado, and I went skiing because a friend of mine drug me out of my room. He knew I wanted to shoot myself every night, and he told me to get to this clinic, and I went to it, and um, um, it, that was a game changer. Um, I went from, you know, that, that saying of, uh, uh, in a wheelchair, your, your life ends where the pavement does, you know, changed. Um, I was 12,000 feet up at the top of a mountain, something I thought was never going to be humanly possible for me. And there I was, you know, looking out over what looked like, you know, you could see the entire planet from that vantage point. And, uh, and, uh. I think, you know, like other than the beautiful scene and being somewhere where you never thought you were going to be, the thing that was about to happen next was the, the thing that I got off on. Fear. You know, oh, adrenaline. I thought you were going to say this is when we met. <laughs> no, no, no. But, uh, you know what I mean? Like, just all of a sudden, it's like, shit, I have to get down this mountain now. You know? Finding, um, finding that thrill again. Yeah. And the wind in your face, adrenaline, fear, all those things. You know, that... Um, that was something that I didn't, I didn't think that as a quadriplegic that I would ever get again, you know, those, those feelings. Yeah. Um, and that opened a whole new world for me. You know, I, uh, uh, I immediately started getting involved in other sports. I, within months after that, signed up for the next semester of college or which is my first semester of college. Um, and I started doing things like jumping out of airplanes, you know, or, or playing rugby, the national veteran wheelchair games, the summer sports clinic, uh, 